Hello, my name is Abu Dinator and you're watching my gaming channel. Thank you for joining me today. This is the third and last dual source build that I'm going to upload on this channel. I don't think there is a better combination than the one that I'm using in this build. And when I say a better combination, I mean a general better combination that doesn't depend on electricity, fire, paralysis, Kingo or champion of Tosa. Why did I need to update the previous two builds? Because they had their limitation. In case of the Golden Gourd Master Swordsman power, we couldn't buff ourselves because of this Amerita Absorption, increase Amerita Absorption. It was contradicting with Carnage, Power, Bell and Rage. In case of Warrior of the East and Golden Guard, the problem there was that we were forced to pour all of our extra points into Constitution to get the extra attacking power from attack bonus constitution from warrior of the east which meant that our magic and dexterity suffered so our magical talisman our weakness and sloth weren't functioning at all actually they just disappeared within three seconds after putting weakness on the enemy this is without mentioning sloth sloth was useless completely so i had to update this this build has the same devastating attacking power, the same defensive abilities, and none of the limitations that the other two had. Now, the Golden Gold Master Swordsman power can be updated or can be improved by changing two Golden Guards to two Yatagarasu and the Ravenwing Rifle. It will be like that. After calculation, after testing, it appeared that this Golden Guard at 99th strength at 99 skill and heart and after putting attack on all pieces it will give it will give us the exact same bonus that this five percent will give us so it's better to go with this so we solved the problem of this build not being able to buff itself however even though this one does 15 percent extra damage in sign of the cross and give us more defensive power the other combination that i'm bringing to you today that wasn't supposed to happen the other combination that i'm bringing to you today does the same thing however it takes 10 percent extra damage in sign of the cross and substitute that with five percent across the board and the winning piece the the piece that made this build worth making a video about is that i still had an extra slot to fit any helmet of my choosing I chose the snake helmet, the poison helmet. You can go with the purification helmet if you want. However, I chose this helmet since it will give us 17 point or 17 percent of extra damage when we put poison on the enemy. Okay, so I'll explain the build as if assuming that you didn't see the other two since I'm going to make the other two private. I'm going to explain this in a little bit of detail. However, as fast as I possibly can. Alright, so on your weapon, you want something that will increase attack power, attack bonus heart. You want something that will retrieve some life from the enemy. Some sort of elemental uh, water, electricity, fire. I went with water for the, the saturation bonus, 20% extra damage. You can go poison over here, but I felt that poison, since it didn't do damage by itself, wasn't really helping while facing normal enemies so the three percent extra damage from water was okay minimum three percent it it varies it goes up and down depending on how much main damage or physical damage you take you you're doing okay melee key damage uh, saturation against enemies and high attack key consumption any source of key consumption depending on your style of play this doesn't matter as long as it's this weapon doesn't matter how it looks how powerful it is what is its color just put it there agility damage bonus is impor important over here and the rest you can like set your rifle in, in, in this manner that you see in front of you warrior of the west for the extra life snake helmet for the extra 17 point of damage of course you're gonna lose over here water sword and windstorm damage since you cannot temper that on on the poison helmet but that's okay that's okay you want attack on all on all of your pieces and water sword or windstorm since that build had 
windstorm i'm going with water sword with this one ah you want life from chest piece on your arm piece leg piece and head piece in order to gain like around 200 extra life points Tokshiro's gourd over here you want you can put whatever you want i would choose i would suggest uh, elixir efficacy i would suggest also uh, status ailment, extended status ailments, or something like that, like, like the 25 or 24.9 percent, or something like that. This is how you want to set up your uh, Esakani because of our, of how high our magic is. We're getting 172 from Tokshiro's Gold and 166 from the Esakani Magatama. Okay, magic protection, steel, carnage. One carnage is enough with Yamamba, poison, sloth, and weakness barrier extraction and water of course when you use the water talisman this nine three percent damage that i was talking about will go up to about eight to nine percent okay yatsu no kami for the melee damage versus poisoned enemy magitsu warrior for the active skill damage you can change that to gayuki however gayuki would have to have atonement cost in order to fit Yan Yan yamamba who only fit in this uh, in this combination or in this build because it had a tournament cost so two if you want to use gayuki two of those three will have to have a tournament cost all right you can go namahagi here as well by the way this is how you wanna i omitted going for armor piercer and passage to the afterlife i went with extra skills and i also went with uh, some melee mastery I poured seven points into here. Okay, you want Shadow Strike, you want Full Moon Katana, and you want Tachi Arts. The rest is up to you. Choose whatever skills that you want. However, whatever suits your style of play. So, Sign of the Cross is extremely important, in my opinion. Some people don't use Sign of the Cross, but if you're using dual swords without using Sign of the Cross, learn how to use it. It's an extremely powerful skill. Okay, skill customization. In skill customization, sign of the cross, we want grant skill bonus based on your heart and here based on your why stamina. Why is it it, it keeps changing to stamina by itself? It should be skill. Actually, this is the second time I'm changing this. I wanna go check. Skill. Okay, heart and skill. Okay, and and this one keeps on there's something wrong with the I don't know what's wrong with this with this thing ah because I changed the build okay that's why because I changed and then switch back all right that's okay, okay now I understand now I understand double-headed slice you can put grants access based on your magic and choose whatever you feel for the rest these are the important parts all right of course the armor golden guard from two faces of hospitality both the weapon and the armor sayaka tagarasu from dawn i think not shadow dawn yeah from here dawn you wanna go the third word and we have moon prayer you're gonna get that from twilight and prayer under the moonlight i think it's called A prayer in the moonlight okay stats distribution I went with refinement because I didn't want to put extra points in stamina that I didn't need to put in all right that's why my strength is at 17 because I'm going with refinement you wanna an important piece of information here you wanna forge all of your strength based equipment so that they will require less points to wear so that when you increase uh, their um, when when you increase their requirement by refinement, you will not be forced to put extra points into strength since that will not help us too much. All right, okay. That's this is how I'm distributing my points. Of course, if you don't want to go for 66 ma magic, you can put the rest in constitution or distribute it in however you want. I went to 13 dexterity for the. Um, Poison Shuriken and Quick Change. Of course, we're gonna use nine Poison Shuriken in order to save two points in Jitsu. Okay, so that's it for 
explaining the build if i missed anything ask in the comments i will answer i will reply for the time being we'll test the build over here in restless spirit and we'll start testing right now i'll just move to the stage all right uh, usually when i test my builds i prefer to get the most of out of my build i prefer to put my amerita gauge to maximum power and now since we have a lot of magical power let's see we'll put steel and maybe extraction on ourselves just for this first part okay that's nice let's see us putting that extra ah, why why didn't why didn't hit come on come on inky come on I didn't, I didn't lock onto him. Come on, man. Don't do that. Nice. Senor Teso. Of course, this was the, the buff from, from purifying the, the Yukai realm. I, I had that on. That's why Teso went down like it was nothing. Alright, as you can see, it's almost the same performance, but with none of the... Again, I will poison this lady because she has a lot of HP. And the best thing about your Mamba is that it can, he can break through her screen. Nice. Since we are at high stance, we got that buff again. Okay. Didn't I hit him just now? That's strange. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, well, wait. Come on. Okay. Well, as you can see, it's almost as if the enemies aren't even there. I didn't have to use Yamamba once because of that uh, Purify Realm Heaven or Purify. What was it? Pur Purify Realm Heaven or something? Like that. Yeah, uh. Ah, wait. Oh, right in the face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> okay. Full power. In case we couldn't get Yamamba out in time. I knew that he was going for this. If you notice I didn't use Water Sword. I am intentionally not using Water Sword. I want you to see the build as it is. See? Now this is the benefit of our sloth. And we are done. Thank you for watching. Well I hope you like the build ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's 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 better than the previous two. I I guarantee it. Uh, this will be the build which I will keep on my channel. I will privatize the other two. I've I've, I've shown you the other one, at least the improved version of the other one. And you can use whatever you feel best or best suitable to your playing style. I've been Abudinator and you've been watching Abudinator Gaming. Don't forget to leave a like and share, a comment, and maybe a subscribe. And see you next time. Take care.